to my weekly meal prepping routine video. So it's a Monday and I just got out of school. I think that Mondays are a great day to just start the week on a whole new chapter. I've been talking with my sister a lot who's like super good at health cleaning. We actually did an organizing video recently of us completely redoing our laundry closet. It was a mess and now it looks really good. So that video gives you kind of like an insight into what she's like. She told me that pretty much every single week she has a complete meal plan for almost every single day. She goes shopping, she has a budget, and it's just like super organized and amazing. And I've actually seen her pantry. It's pretty incredible. It looks so good. So today I'm going to try and spice up my meal prepping routine because usually it's pretty vague. And I want to be more specific today. So if you guys want some beginner tips on meal prepping, then watch this video. Starting off with a notepad and pen. I personally have the belief that you can't start any project without a notepad and pen or a journal or paper or something to write on. I don't think foam works the way that paper does. I just don't. I'm gonna go through the pantry. I'm gonna see what's expiring soon and like what I need to hurry up and eat. I'm gonna see what I need. And then I'm gonna plan ahead a few meals that are gonna be really good. When I say meal prepping, I don't mean the traditional like making a bunch of food, putting it into containers, keeping it in the fridge, and then reheating it every single day and eating it. I think that's kind of gross and it's not super fun because like it's not that every single day you don't have time to just make something, you know what I mean? And I just, I think that's gross. Like having food sitting made for a week. And also some days your body tells you you want something different than what you had planned and that's fine. I really just mean planning for the week, making sure that every day I'm gonna have breakfast, I'm gonna have lunch, I'm gonna have dinner, and I'm gonna have snacks in between, and I'm gonna get in all my fats, fibers, carbs, and proteins, because all that stuff is really important for having energy. I don't wanna draw this intro too long, but a lot of people ask me how I have so much energy um, in my comment section, and I think that one of the biggest things is having like a balanced diet. Literally just having enough food in your system and enough good food, <laughs> enough coffee, of course, <laughs> which is a total contradiction to what I'm saying. So I'm not the essence of health, but it does help me. I always make sure that I've eaten all my food groups that day. I'm also gonna be doing most of my shopping from Walmart because I wanna get, you know, relatively cheap things because who doesn't want that? And I also wanna find some organizational stuff for my pantry. I've been seeing a lot of Pinterest stuff and talk about amazing, amazing pantries. I mean, people are just insane at organizing. I am not gonna to get to that point probably, but I wouldn't mind getting a few baskets just to like hide the gross stuff. And some people are so organized to where everything's in baskets and labeled, but I like having stuff in my site where I can just grab it. Otherwise I will literally never use it. So I'm not gonna get so much organizational stuff that it becomes super inefficient for me. Okay, so don't make fun of me. It's so messy right now, like specifically today. This is what half the pantry looks like. This is the place that I use the most often. So this is kind of more of my baking stuff, as you can see, like lime juice. I got chia seeds back there, tortillas. Like I use this stuff to cook with, but then it's like I have my pistachios here. I don't even know why, those are definitely stale. My honey is supposed to be up there. It's just like such, like, oh my gosh, I'm kind of embarrassed right now. This is like more breakfasty things. Like I have bars, I have oats back there, but then I also have chips, like that's not okay. Up here, I have these container guys. This is pancake mix, cereal, syrup bottle, syrup, syrup, whatever you want to say. So that stuff isn't too bad, I guess. Okay, then over here, this thing over time has just lost all organization that it had. So I had extra cups here, but this got really inefficient because this thing with caramel got everything really sticky. So I'm gonna have to clean this out and make it not so sticky uh, because I literally don't want to use these cups because I'm afraid they're gonna be like sticky and gross. Down here, we have like my carby stuff. I have cookies for for school, I've, like literally just one cookie, my energy goes completely up, it's amazing. These are from the movie theater. Um, And a ton of crackers, which I'm gonna be using. And then up here I have mainly just chips and carbs and fun stuff like that. If you're new to my channel, something that I just have to like get out there is basically if you're wondering why I look so young, but I have like my own kitchen and I'm buying my own food. That seems really odd. Is she okay? Does she have parents? What's going on? I do have parents. My parents are 10 feet away from me. They have their own house. I actually sleep in the guest house. You know how a lot of people have like a guest house or another house on their property or like say if you have a garage that's not attached to your house. It's kind of like that idea. And when I was super little, I decided to move out here because I was sharing a room with my bed. My, I was sharing a bedroom with my sister. I just have my own kitchen and all my own things. But I also take care of it. I don't want y'all to think I'm like super spoiled and whatnot. Um, I take care of it 
and anyone can use it it's also for guests it's a whole house and everything and so if you see that like my diet doesn't have enough of certain things just know i still eat my parents food too like this isn't the end all be all what happens in this kitchen is not all that I'm eating. Just want to get that out there. And also, don't base your diet off anything that I eat in this video. You can get suggestions, but I think like what I eat in a day and stuff can be really harmful for people because everyone needs to have a different calorie taken. Everyone's a different height, they're a different size, they do different things. Like my sister who's a dancer is going to need a lot more nutrition than I do because she's dancing eight hours a day. So I just want to have that disclaimer out here. I'm not trying to promote any certain type of diet because I totally believe in like listen to your body and that's your whole diet and then just like basic things eat your food groups eat good food but also eat chocolate when you can because it's important for your soul <laughs> so I'm gonna write the date up here at the top September 19th groceries made it to Walmart. Loki, Walmart is the best. So let's go through my list. This is what it looks like. All highlighted and amazing. Alrighty, I need bananas, granola, hummus, cheese squares. That's really important because I'm going to do a little cheese box. I love those things. Uh, eggs, but I only want like a six, six carton. I don't want like a whole thing because like I don't need that many eggs. Almonds, um, I need a container for my chia seeds because they're living in a little bag right now and I'm always scared that they're gonna fall over and I'd love to have a little container and like scoop them out. I actually got a stone spoon in a recent video and it's really big and it's perfectly circular and it's really cute and I feel like that would be a nice scooping, chia seed scooping spoon. Um, I need a bin for all my syrups. So syrup, I have chocolate syrup, I have caramel, all for like coffees and stuff like that. Um, I wanna look for something like pumpkin bread, like some sort of treat that's like festive because i don't really have anything except the cookies right now and like that's not okay i need yogurt i need a container with a lid for my granola and my pretzels i want to start having those in like pouring things because right now i only have those type of containers for my pancake mix and my cereal and i really like them so i want to expand on that and then i need a container box for peanut butters honeys nutellas stuff like that so that'll be like some sort of box and i'll probably have the same box for the container for syrups as i do for like peanut butters and stuff i'm super excited this is honestly so efficient i like it being a notepad because if it were a journal i would have to keep it open although journals are still awesome but for different purposes you know Okay, so for pretzels and granola, I want something kind of like this. I think I might need to be a little bit bigger just for the pretzel side of it. And I also want it to be pushed down. This seems like I would just remove it, which is not fun and exciting. I like the little noise mine at home makes. Wait, they're all the same. Shoot. Do they not have the push down ones? Yeah, these ones just aren't gonna do it for me. too much work then again how often am i going to be eating granola and pretzels those are not like everyday things i know i just talked about not wanting to have something a container with too much work to open it up but then i found these and i don't know i like them <laughs> i'm going back on my word i'm such a good person all right, granola, granola pretzels. They didn't have any pumpkin bread, which is really sad. They had like pumpkin cake and like fancy stuff, but I'm really a pumpkin bread type of girl. Oh, there's a fly in here. Okay, I'm gonna go home. We're gonna organize, cook. It's gonna be fun. I made it home. My total was $70. I was surprised it was that expensive. I also did get the Tupperware, so that's not an accurate estimate of like how much food I'm gonna need every week. I also like just am still like learning how to do all of this. So budget-wise, that's to be determined.
I'm gonna go ahead and clean out all of the Tupperware so that I can put stuff in it and not get like sick. <laughs> Wow, that is so satisfying. Then here's the stone spoon I was talking about. How fun will that be to scoop? It's currently, this is currently dirty. I'm putting in the wash, but like that's a cute little combo. I got these in a recent video from Dollar Tree, obsessed. Just putting my almonds right under the counter. Oof, this did not work. Out exactly how I planned because I still need to fit all those in so oh my gosh this is a mess this wasn't on my original list but I thought I would put my pistachios in here You guys, this granola is amazing. It's peanut butter and it's it's good on every flavor. It's so good. In the basket, I'm going to try and fit the syrups and the peanut butter stuff all into one. I don't know. I don't know if it'll work, but it would be so nice to have it all stored away because things like honey and stuff, like they end up just looking like this and they're sticky and I would just love it to be like compartmentalized. Okay, honey fits, not surprised. Peanut butter, Nutella, lemon juice. Oh, apparently I already had Nutella. That's super embarrassing. See, this is why I need a basket. Popcorn butter, which I never use because it gives me a stomach ache. I've got syrups that fit in this. No, it can't. That's okay, that's perfectly good. That does not look too bad. It fits pretty well, I will say. Does it close? It does. Okay, amazing. Okay, I'm not saying it's perfect, but this is a step up from what we had and it's more categorized. So here, this is like, you already know what's in here. You saw that. I also have tortillas and pasta. So this is, I guess, more main course. Here is like carby stuff. Up here, chips and granola, breakfast foods. Then this is a little bit of a wild card, but like we got my chia seeds, my bananas and my nuts, which are very big items. And then oats back there, granola bars, stuff like that. Let me know what you would label that, that drawer right there. One of my favorite things to make are little cheese boxes. So I got sharp cheddar cheese and then I already owned these Ritz cracker packets. And I have these little Lunchables, like I'm four years old, but it's genuinely such a good pick me up during the day. So here we go. We're gonna make some. I'm gonna try and go for four. I don't know if I'll have enough for that, but we'll see. fun but it's just like a super organized way to like I don't know live your life I feel like most organizational products that I do are like literal it's literal training to be like a mom or something like I want to be a mom so bad and I'm like super excited to have a house and kids and a husband and like I don't know all of this just feels like preparation you know I mean technically everything you do in life is preparation for some stage of life that you'll be in but I'm just like most interested in like the 25 year old group, not 25, that's a little young. The like 30 group where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm having kids and I have a house and I'm still, you know, early on in the marriage and like, oh, that sounds so much fun. I'm also all stocked up on my coffee, but I keep my coffee in this mason jar here. Definitely one of the best purchases I've ever made. 
but I like to wait till it's completely empty before I pour anything in because it's that satisfying. So I'm sure in a recent vlog, I will be pouring all this into here. So stay tuned, subscribe, be watching. Okay, so to prepare for the week, I'm going to make coffee ice cubes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the whole tray because I didn't make very much coffee. But coffee ice cubes are really helpful for if you know that you're going to be like studying while drinking coffee or something and there's a lot of time for it to get watered down. I only drink iced coffee, so this is a very relevant problem for me. I hate when coffee gets really, really watery because of the ice melting. So coffee ice cubes just make it extra coffee flavor. I did this for the first time in a recent video and it was just so exciting. I need to make sure not to make the same mistake though and overfill some of them because that was kind of a mess. All right, in the freezer we go. Groceries are put away, coffee ice cubes are in the freezer. I'm now gonna make a smoothie bowl. I wanna show you guys how I make smoothie bowls at home. It's really easy, it's really fun. And there can actually be a lot of protein in them. And you can buy all the ingredients for $13 rather than spending $13 at a smoothie place. Not that smoothie places are bad or anything, but it's just like, if you wanna be more efficient with it, this is how you could do it. Okay, I start with a 1 fourth cup of yogurt and milk of any kind. It really doesn't matter. I'm using almond milk though, if you are curious. Then you do about a cup of frozen fruit. I do pineapple, I think it's the yummiest flavor frozen fruit. But I don't really measure, I don't really care that much because either way it ends up being perfect. Let's say about that's enough. I do some spinach. And it doesn't really taste like anything, so it's like you're getting the nutritiousness of it all, but without having to literally taste disgustingness. I'm not a vegetable fan, so this is a really helpful thing for me. Then I'm going to do about half of a banana. These ones are not super ripe. Oop, love that. These are not going to be the most flavorful bananas ever, but that's okay. I don't like buying my bananas completely ripe because I can't eat a whole bunch of them in a week. This is kind of stupid of me. And there you go. Blend it together. Um, okay, this one is a little more watery than you Oop. Okay, well, was that kind of a fail? Yes, you're usually supposed to have more frozen fruit. Like, the banana probably should have been frozen. Um, so that's my bad. This is more of like um, a sipping smoothie bowl, but it does look kind of cool. I like it. So basically, the next step is just to put some cut fruit, like bananas, strawberries, whatever, and then chia seeds on top. This is kind of like how they make it at like bougie stores, like especially the chia seeds really hits the nail on the head. Chia seeds are really good for literally, like they're, I think they're a superfood. I'm going to sip this smoothie bowl. It's amazing. It tastes like pineapple and yogurt, which is not bad. It doesn't taste healthy, which is good. Like it tastes like something delicious and yummy. If you wanna make it more sweet, you can always put honey, Splenda, sugar, whatever you gotta do. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was informative or interesting in any way. If it was, subscribe. You know how it goes. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. I will say, now that I've done all this stuff, I would love to just like do a deep clean of the kitchen. I think that would be fun. So if you want to see that, let me know. I love you all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.